right, thank you, Karen. We'll tell you more about that issue in North York. So a single vehicle crash now has a section of Shepherd West closed in both directions. A car taking out a hydro pole, which has now brought down some wires. As a result, as Kerry mentioned, Shepherd will be closed between Easton and Sandlack, which is just a few blocks west of Young Street. The driver here suffering only minor injuries. However, police are investigating this. There is going to be a huge issue. As you know, this is one of the busiest intersections in the city. As a result, the Shepherd bus is also diverting via Bathurst, Ellsbury, and Senlac. So you'll want to avoid that complete intersection if you can for the next little while. We will keep you posted if there are any updates on opening the area. To other news now, a man in his 20s is left with serious injuries, stabbed during a street robbery in Peel last night. Um, a lone male was walking in the area here behind us on Renwood Road in the city of Mississauga, walking home when uh, he was approached by two unknown suspects um, who approached with, um, with an edged weapon and for the purpose of robbing this, uh, this victim. Attacked in this residential area in the Finch and 427 area around 10 last night. Police say he has non-life-threatening injuries. Right now, it's not clear what was taken in this alleged robbery. Police say two male suspects dressed in all dark clothing may have had their faces covered and fleed the scene. Well, Fly GTA launching two new routes out of Billy Bishop Airport today to Waterloo and to Barrie. Passengers can now fly to Waterloo International Airport in Kitchener-Waterloo this morning at 7. There's also a return flight happening at 7.45. The flight just takes 18 minutes. There are also flights in the early evening. And the daily trip to Barry's Lake Simcoe Regional taking off at noon, returning at 1 p.m. Each plane holds eight passengers, costs 128 bucks. Fly GTA also planning to expand to London next month. Hundreds of thousands of Ontario college students are likely to be out of class for yet another week. There is still no end in sight for the instructor strike, which has now dragged on since the 16th of last month. And while negotiations finally got going again last week, there is right now a media blackout on how they're doing. The first-degree murder trial in the death of Laura Babcock will resume tomorrow. Court will not be sitting today because a juror had to attend a funeral. Last week, the jury heard that police found Babcock's duffel bag in the house of her alleged killer, Mark Smitch. It's believed Smitch and friend Dylan Millard killed Babcock in 2012. They have both pled not guilty.